Hello everybody, Lord for Life here, bringing you guys a brand new discussion video, <laughs> once again, hopefully. Uh, so, today we are going to talk about all four of the new Spiral cards, they were all revealed uh, throughout the week last week, and uh, I tried and even uploaded a discussion on these uh, on Monday, but however, for some reason my audio cut out. I don't know what is up with that, hopefully it doesn't happen again, hopefully it's not happening in my... Uh, recorders is lying to me saying that I am re that my sound is being recorded but we'll see so so uh, the first spiral card we're going to talk about is spiral mission assault so I'm kind of going in reverse order by which cards were revealed so we're going to start off with the newest and then go on to the original so spiral mission assault it's a continuous spell card destroy this card during your end uh, sorry your third end phase after activation it's basically supposed to be like oh hey this card will th this thing will self-destruct in three two one you know like uh it's supposed to be like uh i believe sorry i haven't actually seen any bond movies but i know that like tropes and stuff so it's like your mission if you choose to accept it blah 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 and then it self-destructs so that's the kind of like gimmick with that i kind of like it whenever they do these gimmicks but on the other hand it's kind of annoying, especially considering what this card does. So, once per turn, if a spiral monster you control destroys a monster by battle, or if you destroy a card or cards on the field with a spiral monster's effect, you can draw one card. You can banish this card from your graveyard, spell summon one spiral monster from your hand. So, overall, I really like this card. I wish it didn't kill itself because, let's face it, it's not going to make it three turns. <laughs> it's probably going to get destroyed by MST or Twin Twister by then. But... If you do get to keep it out on the field for a while, you get to basically just draw a free card every single turn, which is really, really good. Also, that is not a uh, hard once per turn effect. So if you have multiple copies of Assault out, you get to draw three cards every turn, which, well, two to three cards every turn, which is really, really, really good. And I really, really like this. It's very, very useful. It lets you dig through your deck more, get to your combo pieces, get to your uh, field spell, get to your other stuff. And when it does die, it acts as kind of like a uh, DD scroll slime from Graveyard. Banish it, specimen a dude from your hand. Really, really useful. Really, really uh, awesome. I like this card just overall. A lot of people aren't really liking it too much because the deck has a lot of search power, but there's nothing wrong with draw power. <laughs> it's really, really useful draw power. Next up is the field spell that I mentioned earlier, Spiral Resort. I don't know why it's called Spiral Resort when th this is not a resort. This is a uh, head base, <laughs> mission base. So, it's a field spell, obviously. Your opponent cannot target other spiral cards you control with card effects. That alone is really powerful. Uh, next, once per turn, you can add a spiral monster from your deck to your hand. And then finally, once per turn during your end phase, shuffle one monster from your graveyard into the deck or destroy this card. So, this card has three really, really good, three really, really powerful effects. And honestly, it, this card has the single potential to make this deck, like, very, 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 very powerful. And the issue is, is that, like, we aren't really getting that many, like, good monsters. We're getting really good spells, but, like, not very many good, super powerful monsters or anything. So, this card basically says, okay, all your other dudes, except this card, it, you, your opponent can't target them. So you don't have to worry about your opponent MSTing your uh, Spiral Mission. You also don't have to worry about your opponent MSTing or Twin Twistering your uh, Spiral Gear Big Red. You don't have to worry about anybody uh, effect failing or Phoenix Chaining or Breakthrough Skilling. You know you don't have to worry about any of that to about your uh, your Super Agent. I almost forgot his name. <laughs> you don't have to worry about any targeting effects on any of your cards. That is really 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 good you obviously can't like you, your opponents can't MST your tw your uh, resort but that's about it that's literally the only card that they can target and I mean yeah guys there's a lot of there's like targeting is like starting to die down and everything but it's still like a lot of things target magic specter unicorn targets like a lot of the magic specter spell and trap cards that like are spot removal target so you don't ever have to worry about magic specters again with this deck pretty much except for the solemn warning which is annoying it's a once per turn rota for any spiral monster from your deck to your hand that is really really good right there not to mention that is not a hard once per turn so if you have multiple resorts in your hand you can activate all three potentially in one turn search three new monsters 
which I personally would not recommend because, well, this card can potentially kill itself if you aren't careful with your graveyard management. That being said, though, shuffling a monster from your graveyard into your deck is barely a maintenance cost. I say barely because you just basically return, like, okay, your max E. <laughs> or your other hand traps or anything. It doesn't specify. It has to be a spiral monster. It can literally just be any monster. And you can just put it right back in your deck. Or at least, well, you have to. <laughs> if you want to keep Spiral Resort out. I really, really like this card. If you, can't, if you guys can't tell, I'm really liking this archetype overall. And I, I really can't wait for to see the Subterra stuff. I mean, I'm not even a Bond fan. I've never seen any of the movies. But I am loving this stuff. Next up is Spiral Master Plan, uh, basically a big boss. She is, I guess, the leader of the Spiral, like, kind of like, uh, archetype, organization kind of thing. So, she's a level 7 Dark Spellcaster type effect monster. 1200 attack, 2800 defense. So, she's more of a defensive monster than offensive. Not terrible. And 2800 is really hard to get over to. <laughs> just saying, like, it, it, just ask any Herald player, they will they will be able to just fully, like, uh, yeah, like, support that statement. There we go. That's the word I was looking for. <laughs> so, once per turn, you can add a Spiral Mission card from your deck to your hand. So, just once per turn, you can get uh, Soul or any future missions from your deck to your hand. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can add one Spiral Resort. And a spiral monster from your deck to your hand, except herself. And you can only use that second effect once per turn. So if she dies, or if she's kaiju or something, I don't know why you drop a kaiju on this, you get to search out a spiral resort and a spiral monster, except herself. So she can search out three different cards. Granted, like, in order to get two of those cards, you gotta, like, let her die, which is kind of annoying. But still, this card is... I like it a lot. It's really good. It's high level though, so the easiest way of getting her out is stuff like uh, using Assault's Effect and, and Grave, or ditching her and using Big Red to bring her back, or using Dark Magic Fail because she is a spellcaster and she is a dark, so Dark Magic Fail can summon her from hand or graveyard, which is really, really good. I like this card a lot. I just kind of wish she was like three levels lower. <laughs> And, like, maybe 800 less defense if you're going to make her level 4. And then we got Best Girl. <laughs> uh, considering she was, like, everybody was voting for her. Uh, so, we got Charming Resort Staff. Okay, so before we even talk about the actual card and everything, I gotta say, I hate it how she's not a spiral monster. Okay? That is really, 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 like, just stupid on Konami's part. Okay? Konami does a lot of stupid things, but that is just really really stupid okay not making her a spiral monster really really hinders her usefulness in the deck and uh it's just it's very very obnoxious that they did that especially since this girl is supposed to be the bond girl like you know how like every single james bond movie has like a bond girl who's supposed to be like a clingy girl who's hot and like is constantly annoying and like uh going after uh Bond. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, that's who she's supposed to be, and she is very, very clingy to the uh, super agent. So she's a level three light fairy, uh, three hundred attack, two hundred defense. Stats are very meh for level three. I think those are Karibo stats, and Karibo is a level one. <laughs> so when an attack is declared involving a spiral super agent, you control an opponent's face-up monster. You can change the attack of the opponent's monster to zero. If this card is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can spell summon one spiral super agent from your deck. If a spiral super agent you control is destroyed by battle or sent to the graveyard while this card is in your graveyard, you can banish this card from your graveyard, return one spiral super agent from your graveyard to your hand. So, while she's out on the field, and keep in mind she does have to be out on the field, and a spiral super agent you control battles an opponent's monster, you can reduce your opponent's monster to zero. That right there is very, very powerful because if you use it in combination with Drone's Effect to pump up Spiral Super Agent, he can get to ridiculously high attack powers, and that can be an OTK right there. Granted, though, the issue being is that she is not a Spiral Monster, so actually getting her out on the field at the same time as Spiral Super Agent is not going to be the easiest thing to do. I've seen a few like Brilliant Fusion builds of this deck pop up, and that's like the easiest way to do it <laughs> uh granted though i don't like playing brilliant fusion and just you know just about anything other than gen so that being said though i really like her effects overall 
Also, if she's just a strip of battle or card effect, you can special summon a super agent from your deck. However, she's not a spiral monster, so that won't trigger super agent's effect to pop a spell or trap card, which is very obnoxious. And finally, if a super agent goes to the graveyard, while she's in your graveyard, you can banish her, add back super agent to your hand. Really, really good card effects overall. It's just the simple fact that she is not a spiral monster. That's the that, that that's the biggest issue. It's like really, really stupid, Konami. Why'd you do that? <laughs> Anyways, guys, so overall, I really like the four new spiral cards. Do I think spirals are going to be meta? Highly unlikely. Highly unlikely, especially since uh, ABCs are going to be a big thing. Uh, since everybody's hyping up that deck and everything. So it's highly, highly unlikely that spirals are really going to be meta. I think they're only really needing a few better monsters. That's the thing. They need more monsters that they can rely on as a beat stick other than just Super Agent. Right now, their only beat stick is Super Agent. Every other monster in the deck is weak. Like, so you gotta, like, really rely on Super Agent to get your damage in, which isn't that bad of a, you know, like, deck strategy. I mean, Bujins did it for the longest time. But here's the thing. The Bujins that supported Yamato were, still had high stats. <laughs> you know, I mean, granted though, I can see why Charming Resort staff would have crap stats. She's, you know, a civilian. At least we can assume so. So, guys, that's my overall thoughts on this stuff. I can't wait to see what Konami does with the rest of the uh, Spiral archetype over the next few sets. And I also can't wait to see the new Subterra cards. Like, I am constantly checking uh why you organization to see if they updated oh my god that's a beautiful mat holy crap i want it <laughs> uh I, I did not i did not expect that so guys anyways thank you all for watching hope you guys enjoyed the video have a great day if it's your birthday happy birthday and hopefully this video did not have its audio cut out <laughs> see y'all later